getting started with Nova Point 19. In this webinar, I'm going to cover importing a point cloud to Nova Point 19, creating a ground surface, and adding an orthophoto to the ground surface. Uh, we start Nova Point 19 by clicking on the icon and we get the opening window. And Nova Point 19 is a standalone application but has an intelligent connection to AutoCAD. When we start a new project, we click on New, and then uh, we get up uh, the install templates for the particular installation. installation. The first we do is give a model name. We can call it Model 01, and where the model is to be located. OK. The next step in the wizard for the model is to select the correct coordinate reference system. And in our case, we're going to use the ITM for the X northern eastern XE values, and we're going to use Malin head for the elevation. Next, uh, the feature catalog is an object definition that's used in the model to define all the different in infrastructure objects. Uh, we have and we accept the default value here. Thus, we have created our first model. Uh, there's no content, but we've defined the object catalog, and we've defined the coordinate reference system. The next step is to import some uh, ground surface information. Uh, looking at the window here, we have our explore window here that uh, represents, it's like Windows Explorer and represents everything that we add or do, either import, create a road, create an alignment, presentation. Uh, it builds up a tree here of tasks. This is our property window that gives information on all the objects that we have in our model. And this is a presentation window. In the center here, we have our um, uh, viewer, and this can be 2D, 3D, uh, section, or longitudinal profile. OK, we continue now with our first import. I mark uh, the process tree here at the moment that's empty, right mouse click, and create my first summary task. And we can call this for 10, import. I mark the import task, choose the insert tab, and import files. And here we have an XEZ file, uh, point cloud file, uh, from Milton that I received from Galway County Council. The first question we get is uh, to control the coordinate reference system for the file with the model. And we have set up our model with uh, ETM and Malin head height. There's no information in the file, so it, it asks me to confirm that I want to use the same coordinate reference system as I have in the model for the import of this file, and I do. The next step of the wizard uh, is we have some uh, choices we can make here. The first one is whether the objects we import are existing objects or designed objects. In our case, they're existing objects because they represent the existing terrain surface. Elevation, this gives us the possibility also to uh, have negative elevations or to say that the information we're importing has no height. But we can just select the default value for our point cloud. Uh, here we should make a choice because we, we tell the model, give it some more information about the type of data we're importing. And I recommend that we call it a ground surface, on ground surface. The points we are now uh, importing on the ground surface. Uh, Nova Point 19 has already done an analysis of the file and tried to interpret what kind of information is there. It says this is a tab separated file uh, and we can see now the three columns that we have in our file. Uh, we can override of course and say that, that it's um, the data separated by comma, space, semicolon, but tab separation is correct. And it has also seen that there are only three columns. The next is we can set the column properties. And here we have uh, an easting, a northing, 
and an elevation. And that is correct for the file that will be received. Uh, object properties, it's already said, seen that this is um, a point cloud file because it, it registers that there are so many single points. And it says, okay, this will be stored as a single feature and as a point cloud. And that's correct. Uh, it can be a good idea to select preview here because then you will see the data before it's actually imported into the model. When I select OK, it automatically creates a temporary model of the file and it's shown in the viewer because we selected the preview function. And now we're ready to import this permanently into the model. Uh, so the next step is to select a conversion rule. And this is just a rule that uh, says what the points in the file are to be stored as. Uh, I'm sorry that this, this text here is in Norwegian, but this will be corrected uh, very shortly. And this just says uh, point cloud to ground surface. So we select this conversion rule and take OK. And we can finish. And now if we look at our summary task import, we see that we have created a new task import with the file name in question. We can mark it, right mouse click, and view in 3D. We just need to change the drawing rule down here to draw all, and now we can see our uh, all our points are being imported. And you can see here in the property window that is one point cloud. Uh, and this has received its own uh, genuine unique ID. And you can see it has uh, the, um, the attribute existing because it's existing information. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, there's 46,260 points in the point, point cloud. Okay. The next step now is to create a, a ground surface from the imported points. And this is very useful because we need this if we want to offset uh, to create uh, subsurface layers or if we want to create a hole for our uh, road design. So again, we can mark the process, right mouse click and create a new summary task and we can call it 20 ground surface. We mark the summary task and we go up to um, our toolbar and we go to modeling and we want to create a ground surface. And then the ground surface wizard starts off. Ground surface one, that's okay. Uh, it's placed in the correct place in our tree. But if it wasn't, we can select here where we want it to be stored. In our settings window, uh, we want to create a tin model and uh, create tin surface. Uh, we also have possibility here to filter if this had been a line model. Uh, and I recommend adding um, an optimization that removes triangle, uh, size of triangle greater than a particular value. For our case here, 50 meters is a, is a sensible value. We need to select which features we want to create the ground model of, and that is our import, our point cloud. Uh, and we, we need to do uh, a modification so that uh, we can break the point cloud up into um, uh, single points. So we can collect here uh, the unspecified land cover area and finish. And now if we go in and look at our ground surface task, we see that we've created a ground surface. Again, we can mark it, right mouse click, view in 3D. And you see now that the whole model has been triangulated. So we now have a complete ground surface. And then this we can use um, when we start our road design and alignment design. Okay, before I finish this uh, part of the webinar, I would like to add a north of Porto on top of our ground surface. So again, we can go to our process tree, mark process, right mouse click, new summary task, and we can call this 90 presentation. 
mark the presentation summary task. Go to our um, menu on the top and select view and select 3D. So now we create a 3D view. Uh, our source feature, we just want the ground surface. And we want to add to the ground surface our orthophoto. So we select here, add orthophoto. Uh, we give it a name, orthophoto 001, for example. And we browse on our computer to where we have placed the uh, images. And these, again, I've received from Galway County Council. Here are the autophotos. And included with the files are the georeferencing information. And you see that it has found six images, and it has also found the georeferencing. So it can place them correctly in the model. OK. And we want to drape the orthophoto onto our terrain surface. And now we have generated um, a 3D representation of our existing situation based on the point cloud and based on the orthophoto, uh, based on the resolution that we have available. That's the first part of the webinar. Um, I will continue now with a new webinar, uh, how to design a road and an alignment based on the information that we created. So we can, I just save everything and we will continue with the next webinar. Thank you for now.